Hello guys and welcome to adding an image gallery by WA courses. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add image galleries, which is uh, adding a group of images at the same time or grouping images together and displaying them in a grid or in any form that you might want to. So with the introduction out of the way, let's get started with the video. So just as um, with adding images, we also have a Gutenberg widget for this. So if you want to create or add an, uh, a gallery to your WordPress post or uh, create a gallery, all you have to do is click on this plus signs, plus sign and click on the gallery icon. Okay. So if you're adding just one single image, you go with image. If you're adding a gallery, you click on gallery. Then over here, you get the option to um, add files. Okay. So I'm just going to click on media, uh, the media library. And as you can see, we have two images uploaded here. Um, I'm just going to upload some extra images. So I'll click on select files and let's see, I'm going to upload this tree and click on upload. Okay. So let's see if this worked. All right, so we'll have to wait a while for all three new images to be uploaded. So I'm just going to post the video and I'm going to play it when everything is done. Okay, so I'm just going to select um, all these images. So whatever image you want to add to the gallery, just click on it. And at the top, you're going to get this plus sign. And when you hover around, it, it's going to turn to a minus sign. So if I click on this, I can remove this image. So we really have four images selected. Could remove this also. I could add this back by clicking and so that's how you actually do this then once you've you have all the images you want to add to the gallery selected just click on create a new gallery over here okay then at the next um, stage here you can add a caption so you could add uh, the caption let's say go call this flower if we want i'm just going to give these two captions so we can see how it looks uh, you can add more images by clicking on add to gallery. You can add more images to the gallery or you could go back to edit gallery and finish adding your um, stuff here. You can also do things like reorder. So if I could drag this, so I'm just holding on this and I could drag this to the front and I can drag this forward or drag this backwards. So it doesn't really matter um, where you want it. You have, the, you have the ability to order stuff as you might want. Okay. So. I'm just going to drag this to the front and once you're done, just click on insert gallery. Okay. So once you click on insert gallery, as you can see it's going to insert the gallery into your, uh, your page. So, so as you can see, it looks really, really nice. Um, you could do things like edit the caption. You could make the caption bold. You could add a link to the caption if you want. And for these ones without captions, you can add a caption from here also. Um, you can also do things like change um, an image. So if I click on this, I could, if I click on this um, button here, I can replace this image from the, um, from my WordPress uh, media gallery. Okay. So if you, it's automatically takes as any size that um, is possible. So if you have um, four images, it's going to take one to the bottom and make it bigger. And you can change this behavior if you want also. So I'm just gonna scroll up and let's play with the gallery uh, to a bit. Let's see. Okay. So if you come over here, you can do things like align. So you could change the alignment of this to center. Okay. Change the alignment to left if you want. So it's going to go to the left, to the right, and back to center. You could have full width. You could have uh, full width. So it's going to take everything here. So we have wide width and full width. Wide width is going to take a big part of the page, but it's going to add some extra margin at the left and right hand side. And full width is going to make sure it, stick, it takes the entire page. So I'm just going to leave this back at center because center is the default. You can also do things like if you click on this icon here, you can transform this to column or to groups, but we're going to leave this as images. So that's basically it. Um, even at over here you could resort so if you click on this and you click on this image and you click on this sign you could move this to the left you could, and you can move this to the right just like you have in the uh, editor there so um, it's very straightforward to use uh, the gallery tool it's very easy just select some images and you're good to go 
so i hope you found this video useful and i'll see you guys in the next video